Hi, everybody. Welcome to the uh, City Council uh, meeting for the City of Bonnie Lake for uh, November 28th, 2023. First thing we always do is salute the flag. So if the audit can stand, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam Clark, could you call the roll, please? Mayor McCullough. I'm here. Deputy Mayor Carter. Here. Councilmember Baldwin. Here I am. <laughs> Councilmember Evans. Here. Councilmember Fellerton. Here. Councilmember McClymans. Here. Councilmember Swatman. Present. Councilmember Watson. Here. Right. We are all present and accounted for. Now comes one of um, my favorite parts of this job. Uh, we have an appointment. And uh, could uh, Councilmember elect uh, Dan Roach please come forward so that we can um, administer the Do we stand? Don't we usually stand? No, so, uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, we don't? What? Not usually. I'm going to show my respect. I mean, shouldn't we like it? I think afterwards, too. Oh, damn. Yeah. Anyone taking pictures, please? Yeah, just focus. All right, the jury's right hand. I, Dan Roach, you solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States. I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of the state of Washington, and the Constitution and laws of the state of Washington, and all local ordinances, and all local ordinances, and I will faithfully and impartially perform and discharge the duties of the office of council member of the city of Bonnie, according to the law, and to the best of my ability. <laughs> it was a lot, yeah. <laughs> and I will faithfully and impartially perform and discharge the duties of. and discharge duties of the office of council according to the law and the best of speculation. <laughs> well, do I get up now? Do I get up now? Okay. okay now, I, now I get up, right? Okay. Yeah. Now you be sitting over there. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to get to you. All right. Oh, and um, Council Member, I need you to sign. Um, sign both copies. Okay. It's four year lease. <laughs> sign in the uh, four year lease. Five year and Madam Clerk, you can that. Was that the seventh oath, oath of office you've taken, Dan? You couldn't memorize it by now? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> hmm. Good question. Trivia. A lot of words. <laughs> yeah. All right, we do have one modification. Um, Councilmember Kleiman has asked to remove AB 23-146, or is that 196? 146. 146. 146. Um, from tonight's uh, consent agenda to full council um, issues as item A. Is there a motion? So moved. Do we have a second? Okay. All righty. Uh, so we have second. Um, all in favor of um, the um, um, moving AB 23-146 from the uh, consent agenda to uh, full council issue, say aye. 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 Any opposed? <clears throat> okay, that has happened. So we don't have any public hearings, so we'll move on to citizen commentary. All right, this is uh, your time to address the council on city business. Uh, the city will now enable the video and microphone for those attending virtually. You'll need to turn on your video and microphones on your end if you are wanting to be seen or heard. We will start with those who are here in person and uh, move to the virtual comments afterwards. You have five minutes. State your name and address for the record, please.
Council Mayor and past Council Member Dan Decker of 2170 Street East, Bonnie Lake, Washington. Fluoride, a second look. For years, health experts have been debating about whether or not sodium fluoride is toxic to the human body. Look closer. The FDA has concluded the fluoride is a drug. Fluoride is a neurotoxin in the same class as arsenic, lead, mercury. Fluoride is contributing to a worldwide pandemic of de developmental not, um, near, neurotoxicity that results in disabilities such as attention deficit, hyperactivity disorder, dyslexia, and other cognitive impairments. Researchers concluded that children in areas with highly fluorinated water have significant lower IQs, IQ scores than those who ha live in areas low amounts of fluoride. So stupid on the south side of Bonnie Lake. Yeah, I just went on stop, and I wish the clock stops too for what that noise was. Yes, we yield your time. Fluoride was once used as rat poison. Fluoride is still added to approximately sixty percent of the United States water supply. Fluoride accumulates in the human body. The center of these, excuse me, the centers, Center for Disease Control. And prevention, CDC 1999-2001 has acknowledged fluoride is beneficial as topical. Swallowing fluoride is unnecessary and is dangerous. There is no justification to force people to ingest fluoride through their water supply. It's a standard to have consistent of people to give them medication. Ada never got consent from the drug of the unwilling. And that would be the Holocaust, ladies and gentlemen, counsel. The government needs a total consent of the people to fluorinate the city water, not just 50 people, 51%, whatever. It needs a total of 100%, and that includes anybody driving through and happens to get a glass of water from City Hall or something. Somewhere, I recall that fluoride is mentioned to be a poison. Oh, yes. It's right on the fluoride containers. Toothpaste containers, rat, paste, rat poison boxes, and Dr. Carlson, Nobel Prize winner in medicine and physiology, year 2000, has made it clear fluoride is poison. Interesting thing about fluoride, it leaches onto the to different parts of the body, for example, the human skeletal system, the penile gland, the cerebellum parietal component, and the frontal component are attacked, are attacked by fluoride. To be more truthful to you, fluoride leaches into every part of your body, every single part of your body. It lays there and helps you die suddenly without any remorse. Once fluoride is put into the water, the dose cannot be controlled. It just keeps on getting more and more and more. It lays there and it adds up and adds up and adds up. Pretty soon when you're 80, 70 years old and you fall down, well, you just broke that hip, not because of your age, but because of the fluoride. It takes away the calcium out of your bones. The myth has been exposed. Why is there poison known as fluoride still in our city drinking water? The city council has the power to stop and prevent all fluoride coming into our water. And I hope you do someday soon because we're all going to get old. When, well, I already am. <laughs> we'll... we'll Everyone will get old one day, and when we fall down and break our hip, well, that's kind of like a death sentence, just right there. Fluoride, get it again, lack of calcium in the body, it leaches it out. Thank you, counsel. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Mr. Decker. And you are preaching to the choir as far as the age that you were talking about. Um, do we have anybody else for the good of the order? 
Okay, we'll now move to um, any uh, video commentary. Um, anybody who wishes to speak um, uh, virtually, you'll have five minutes. Uh, please state your name and address for the record. Okay, um, now the city will disable all video and uh, microphones for those who are attending virtually. So we'll move on to uh, committee reports. Can we hear from the Finance Committee? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The Finance Committee met this evening at five o'clock upstairs. Uh, we approved our minutes. We had a personnel update. Uh, I'll go through very quickly. Uh, Austin Mengus was promoted to maintenance worker three. Karina Scott promoted to permit coordinator. Colin Burnham promoted to police sergeant. Uh, there are two separate conditional offers out for police officer currently. Um, they have several uh, other spots that are waiting for uh, receipt of applications. Uh, we had a discussion on AB 23151, which is the 2024 COLA and benefit changes for non-represented non employees. Uh, and that will be coming to full council on December 12th. Oh, thank you, Deputy uh, Mayor. Yep. Um, did they... Um uh, are you saying that the offers have been extended to the officers and they, they are waiting to accept? There's two conditional offers that are out. I believe they have accepted. Chief? Correct. Did you use your charm? <laughs> <laughs> they have accepted the conditional offers and they're now in the background process. Oh, good. Thank I you. I used whatever charm I had. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can we hear from uh, community development? Yes, Mr. Mayor, our Community Development Committee did meet last uh, Tuesday. We discussed the sewer agreement that we also discussed in the same night at a workshop level. Okay, is and that's all? That's it. All right, thank you, Councilmember Swatman. Uh, public safety, please. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Public Next public safety meeting will be on Tuesday, December 12th at 2020, or 20, at 3.30 p.m. on the second floor. Uh, please come join me in my final uh, Public Safety Committee. Right. I will be there with bells on, Councilmember awesome. Evans. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't see any other reports, so we'll, we will now move to the uh, consent agenda as amended. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Second. All right. Um, all in favor of adopting our consent agenda uh, for the City of Bonnie Lake for November 28th, 2023, say aye. 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 All opposed? All right. We have a unanimous vote. We do not have any committee issues at uh, this point, so let's move to the amended full council issue. Madam Clerk. This is item A, which is AB 23146, resolution 3187. The council motion would be to amend the fee schedule to add a $50 water meter data download fee, pay to park rates, and boat launch fees for Allen York Park. So moved. Second. Do we have any discussion? Councilmember McClymans. Yeah, so um, I just, I, I wanted this removed from the consent agenda just so I can make it clear that the pay to park fees, I I think we're just going to punish the people that um, need the park the most by charging uh, low income people and people with maybe not without a lot of capacity. And I believe the people that we don't want to park there are going to park there anyway. So I'm going to vote against this. Okay, do we have any further discussion on the matter before we move to a vote? Okay, let's, uh, oh, Council Member Roach. Just quickly, um, you know, if I could uh, talk to the chief here, the, will this give you the ability to enforce that? We, I, we were talking earlier today and going over some of the issues. I don't know if this applied or not. As far as where they park, do you have enforcement abilities? Correct. We do have enforcement abilities to uh, go ahead and enforce the no parking and tow away zones in those areas. Uh, Director Johnstone and I have a plan for that moving forward. Okay. All right. Do we have any further discussion on the matter? Okay. Let's take it to a vote. Um, all in favor of adopting um, AB 23146, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Nay. Okay. Six to one. And I believe we have no more business, so we are adjourned. Thank you very much for showing up. Eleven minutes for the meetings today.